Hello and welcome to the latest cereal and oilseed market update. I hope you're all doing great. In this video I'm going to do a quick overview on what key watch points to look out for in grains and oilseed markets as we head into the new year. This video was recorded on the 14th of December so is focused on the fundamentals of supply and demand. Obviously the EU exit will be a key factor in driving the markets but as we still unfortunately don't know what way the negotiations will go I'm unable to discuss it in this update. We'll be putting all updates and information on the Brexit page on our website as and when they are announced. So, starting with cereals, both wheat and maize markets have been reasonably bullish recently, driven by a number of different factors, and, as a rising tide floats all boats, the barley prices have been kept buoyant as well. However, with a mix of both bullish and bearish factors to consider as we head into 2021, let's have a look at a couple of the key drivers. Weather is always a key influencer and has certainly been one of the biggest supports across both cereals and oilseeds over the last few months. Not most notably at the moment is the La Nina which is impacting South America, most severely Argentina. The La Nina has caused a lengthy drought which has massively reduced the potential of the Argentine wheat crop. Production is currently forecast at 16.8 million tonnes which would be 11% lower than last year and almost 9 million tonnes lower than the first production estimate back in May. As you can see from the image, the key wheat producing regions have been worst hit and soil moisture levels are well below normal. As one of the world's largest wheat exporting countries, this will certainly tighten supply on global markets. Dryness in the beginning of 2021 will also hamper the maize crop as it goes through key growth development stages. However, turning our attention to Australia, who are currently in the middle of harvest, the story is very different. After three years of drought, Australia have received almost perfect weather conditions throughout the growing season and are set to have a bumper crop. Wheat production is forecast to increase by 106% from last year at 31.2 million tonnes. Barley production is set to increase by 33% to 12 million tonnes. If realised, both of these would be the second largest on record. As a large exporter, these production levels could easily negate the reduced exports coming out of South America. With China implementing an 80.5% tariff on Aussie barley, this barley will have to make its way into other markets, such as North Africa, and therefore competing on price with UK feed barley. Global oilseeds markets have also experienced several months of firming prices, with soybeans currently sat at roughly a four-year high. Another key influencer for the oilseed complex in the coming year is the tight supply of sunflowers, which is currently causing a price rally. The reason sunflower prices have been rapidly rising recently is due to lower than average yields in some key producing countries. Nearly three quarters of the world's sunflower seed production comes from Ukraine, Russia and the EU, where harvest of the 2020-21 crop is almost complete. So far, Ukrainian yields are estimated to be 18% down year on year and EU yields down 16%. This would give a global sunflower production of 49.7 million tonnes, which would be 5.3 million tonnes lower than last year. This will tighten supply noticeably and demand will have to shift to other oil seeds and could support prices for the entire oil seed complex. Due to its current price, sunflower oil has now priced itself out of the energy market and demand from the EU is estimated to decline by 0.7 million tonnes from last year's levels. Looking closer to home, according to our early bird survey, the domestic rapeseed area is forecast to decline for a third year in a row, down a further 18% from harvest 2020 at just 318,000 hectares. This is 283,000 hectares lower than the 2018-2019 high of 601,000 hectares. This reduction in supply will likely see domestic rapeseed prices stay supported throughout the season and into the next. So far this season, nearby rapeseed prices delivered into Irith have rallied £35 per tonne. However, we have seen some short-term pressure on rapeseed prices of late due to a slowing of soybean purchasing from China and better weather forecasts for South America. So, it will be interesting to see what happens to global oilseed prices as we head into the new year and how it affects our domestic price. For more information and to keep up to date with the latest news, please visit the Cereals and Oilseeds Market webpage on the AHDB website. Thank you and I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas.